Hi, everybody. Um, it's four o'clock, so I wanted to come with you to the live stream with about the flux ordering. So I'm going to give it just a few minutes to see if anybody um, hops on. And let me go through everything that I have notated. Watch till the very end because there are some important things that you need to be aware of. And then if anybody has questions, feel free to type it in the comments. And I am going to give it just a few minutes and I'm going to also invite some people who may have forgotten about it. Okay, so as everybody has heard, I hope, we are switching to flex ordering in campaign nine. And since a lot of us are starting to flip over to that, hi Rita, um, here, because my campaign eight order goes in tomorrow, so since we're getting on that, I'm hoping you guys have watched the um, webinars that Avon has offered. There's a lot of useful information. And really, nothing has to change. So don't be worried about flex ordering and that it's this big change. All it means is that nationally, as a company, every single Avon rep will be selling from the same campaign. There were reps who were selling two campaigns ahead, one campaign ahead, or one or two campaigns behind us. So they just wanted to make it to where every single rep in the United States was selling on the same campaign. You can keep the same order date that you currently have. Nothing has to change. So one of the things is, is you should have gotten your flex ordering national campaign calendar in your campaign seven order. If you did not, go to youravon.com, click Campaign Central, Campaign Selling Calendars, and it will be under there in National Flex Ordering Campaign Calendar, I think it is. There's one for that, and then there's a trendsetter one. Don't worry about the trendsetter, just do the National Flex Ordering Campaign Schedule. As we talked about, this starts in Campaign 9. So just go to campaign nine. Campaign nine starts on April 4th and it closes on April 17th at noon. That is one big thing to know is the very last day that we can put orders in in that two week period, your orders have to be in by noon. If it goes in afternoon, it will count for the next campaign. Um, there will be no late fees. So if you miss your day that you generally place an order, if you're late a couple of days because you're on vacation, just place it at the first opportunity you get and there's no late fees. Um, one thing to know, and sorry I keep looking down, I have notes is if you do multiple orders, there will be a shipping fee on each order. But it won't be an escalated fee for doing an additional order. It will just stay the same shipping fee throughout. Um, on March 26th, all reps will transition to flex ordering. So everything will flip to flex ordering dates. March 27th, it will be visible on youravon.com. So at the top, it'll say something like campaign nine flex ordering from the 4th through the 17th. 
Okay, this one is really, really super important. All campaign eight orders must be placed by noon on April 3rd. If they are not placed by noon on April 3rd, they will count as campaign nine orders. So just remember that with the transition and everything moving to the last day as being noon, that orders have to be placed. Your campaign eight orders need to be placed by noon um, on April 3rd. On April 4th, flex ordering begins. And from April 4th through the 17th, you can submit your order at any time during that period. Okay, so delivery schedules. They may change depending on um, who your delivery company was. I know a lot of us have UPS, so it'll probably stay the same because they're going to be processing orders as they come in. Um, so, you know, if you get it usually on a Tuesday and it comes UPS, it'll probably still be on a Tuesday. If you have a different order or delivery company, you everybody should have gotten a pink envelope from Avon going over flex ordering. Now, if you have a different delivery company, it should have been notated in there if you were keeping your same delivery company or if you were switching to UPS. Um, also, if it didn't say anything, you are going to continue staying with UPS. Hi, Sherry. Um, okay, so a little bit more about deliveries. On your Avon.com, during that two-week time period, it should give you an estimated delivery window. So it'll probably say your order will be here between this day and this day. So that is entirely up to you if you want to move it up to try to get it before you leave on vacation or if you're going to be gone so you want to move it back. That's perfectly fine. So just, I hate to keep saying this, but any time in that two-week period is acceptable to place your order as long as it's done before noon on the last day. Um, another good thing is that our websites, our e-stores, will align with the campaign as it is going to be. So if you notice sometimes, like my e-store lags probably two or three days behind from when I place my order, but now it will switch over on that very last day to the new campaign. So like campaign nine ends on April 17th, your e-store will flip to campaign 10 on the 17th. So it's gonna be a little bit ahead, but just remember, not really, because we have until noon to place our orders on the 17th. So I know a lot of you have been kind of concerned and not really understanding it. And really all I can say is nothing is necessarily changing. Nothing has to change on your end unless you want it to. So if you're happy with when your order day is, you can continue to place your orders on that day just so long as by that last day of the campaign, it's placed by noon. That's, that's the only thing. So I've kind of decided my orders are due on Thursdays, and I guess I'm used to it. My customers are used to it, so I'm just going to continue doing it on Thursdays. And there's not going to be any change. There may occasionally be a change if I go on vacation and I need to move it up or back but it's pretty much just gonna stay the same. So you don't have to worry this, I know it sounds like a humongous change, but it's not that big of a deal. It's really just making it to where everybody in Avon is selling from the same brochure, and which is kind of nice because if you're traveling and you leave brochures somewhere, then, you know, 
if it flips over, if your campaign has ended and it flips over, they're going to be like, oh my gosh, when can I order from this book? It's no longer on there. But since we're all on the same campaign, it will be on there for the amount of time. Also, one thing to know is Avon is going to start dating our books. I haven't noticed yet. And I have campaign nines, but they're not near me. So I didn't get a chance to take a look at it, but it's going to be dating it that the campaign runs from X date through X date. So that'll be a nice thing. Um, really, that's all I have. I just want to assure you that it's nothing that is really huge. It's not going to change things unless you want it to change things. There's just a couple of little things that you have to remember that, you know, it runs for two weeks. You have to have your order in by noon on that very last day. No late charges. Your shipping, if you place multiple orders, will always be the same. And then really the most important one is that campaign eight closes April 3rd at noon at, at noon at noon o'clock. So um, just make sure you have your order in by April 3rd at noon. If not, it will count for campaign nine. So I noticed there's only one person on left. Do you have any questions about this? Is there anything I can answer? You can type it in the chat box. All right, ladies, um, I guess nobody has any questions. So if you think of something, post it on the group, text me. Text me would be better. Don't email me. I'm horrible at emails. So, um, or call me. That also works. But, you know, don't worry about things. It's going to be good. And just think, if you have an order date that is later in the campaign and you want to move it up, that would be awesome because your people will get their orders faster. Or if you want to move it, say you want to place your order on a Sunday, and it sh I would assume it should be here by Tuesday or Wednesday, so that's a quick turnaround. Um, I place mine on Thursdays, and I don't get it till Tuesday, so there's a little bit of lag there. So, and just like Rita said, not really, she's keeping her same schedule, which it I think they did this to just to you know, give you guys the flexibility of how you wanted to run your business. If a Thursday doesn't work for you because you have activities with your kids or something like that, then you can change it to however you want and you don't have to wait for it to ship until that Thursday and you don't have to pay late fees if you're late on placing your orders. So I hope everybody has a good day. Like I said, if you have questions, please let me know. Please reach out. Um, we'll work through it. And, you know, really, like I said, it's not a big deal. It's nothing has to change unless you want it to. So have a good day, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.